Hi, I am Dr. Rashmi Chaudhary, the consultant obstetrician and gynecologist working in Cloud9 Hospital, Bellandur, Bangalore. Bleeding in pregnancy can happen at any stage, starting from the moment embryo is implanted inside the uterine cavity till the baby is delivered. If the amount of bleeding can vary, it can be slight brownish discharge, slight pinkish discharge, may be associated with sometimes cramps or not. But it is often a very panicky situation. It is panicky situation for the woman as well as for the relatives. But one thing you should keep it in mind that always bleeding in pregnancy is not a thing of concern. You should always seek an opinion of the gynecologist or your obstetricians. But you should not think that way that always you are heading towards some miscarriage. The bleeding in pregnancy can be off because of many reasons. The first and the foremost thing when it starts, it starts with the implantation bleeding which can happen around the time of the missed period or a few days prior to that which can be very slight pinkish discharge. The another most common cause for bleeding in pregnancy is subchorionic hemorrhage which is a collection of blood in between the chorionic folds. It mostly Either it is superior to the gestational sac or it can be inferior to the gestational sac or it can be on the sides. Mostly the cause of subchorionic hemorrhage is the disturbed hormonal stasis, decreased level of progesterone, PCOD patients, hypothyroid patients, they are mostly prone for the subchorionic hemorrhage. It doesn't have any impact. It undergoes natural resolution with the rest, the progesterone hormone supplementations and treatment of PCOD and hypothyroidism, the condition subsides. There can be some cases of subchorionic hemorrhage in seen in the second trimester also. The another important cause for bleeding in pregnancy is a cervical polyp. It is actually a fleshy mass which is arising from the lips of the cervix. Since it is exposed in the vagina, so it leads to this exposing of the external world will cause infection and inflammation in the cervical polyp and it will lead to intermittent bleeding. Polyp, once it is diagnosed, it is removed in the second trimester of the pregnancy. First trimester, it is not touched. Cervical erosion. During pregnancy, the blood supply of the uterus increases more than 50%. Because of that, sometimes the cervix becomes very vascular, soft. Sometimes the soft vascular cervix can get traumatized by the sexual intercourse or while taking a pap smear. The vaginal infection or a bacterial vaginosis can often lead to infection, intermittent breeding during pregnancy. So it should be treated with the local applicants and some vaginal pastries. The molar pregnancy is also significant cause of bleeding in early pregnancy, which can happen from the first till mid second trimester also. In molar pregnancy, product of conception or the ovum is replaced by multiple small grape-like vesicles and these vesicles are attached directly to the uterine cavity. So once they are detached, it causes bleeding. The treatment is evacuation of the uterine cavity under anesthesia and further treatments. With they sometimes require injection methotrexate also. The second trimester causes for uh, bleeding in pregnancy are the abruptio placenti as well as the placenta previa. Placenta previa is a bleeding because of the placenta being situated in the lower uterine segment. It causes a painless bleeding, rest and adequate hormone supplementations and capillary hemostatic will treat this condition. Abruptio placenta is a dangerous situation. It is premature separation of the normally situated placenta, which is might be associated with pain, bleeding, sometimes with high blood pressure. So this condition needs to be treated aggressively. Sometimes bleeding in pregnancy can be because of the preterm labor also.